What a great state we are. Um, I'd like to introduce you to Keith Thomas. Keith has worked as Chief Executive of the South Australian Native Title Services, or SANS, since July 2012. SANS is a company that provides professional and native title services to Aboriginal people in South Australia. Keith is also currently a director of the Native Title, National Native Title Council. He spent 16 years working with Native Title and Keith continues to strive towards achieving good working relationships between Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal non people that result in genuine economic, social and cultural benefits for Aboriginal people in South Australia. Welcome, Keith. Thank you, Vivian. This is going to be tricky. <laughs> okay, um, before I start, I'd just like to uh, acknowledge the uh, traditional owners for the land upon which we're meeting here today, the Ghana peoples, and uh, pay my respects to their elders past and present. Um, as I move forward, I suppose I'd like first of all just to say thank you to everybody for having me here today to talk to you. I'm here to talk about the Aboriginal community considerations. The first part I'm going to talk about is uh, culture and country. Um, Aboriginal people have had an inseparable relationship with country through culture, laws and customs. Aboriginal people have managed country for thousands of years and have an intimate knowledge of the ecological and environmental processes uh, and, and sustainable practices to that land. Health of country, health of culture, and health of self, family, and community are all interconnected. Dreaming or creation stories, Jukupa in Western Desert language, connect ancestors to country and in turn impart responsibilities on current and future generations to care for both cult uh, country, culture and country. I'll get there. Ah, oh, that's it. So, oh, it's gone too far. Ah. So, recognition of rights. Since the 1960s, Aboriginal people in South Australia have had recognised various rights and interests to lands and waters. This has included various parcels of lands uh, brought under the Aboriginal Lands Trust Act, the granting of statutory uh, Aboriginal freehold title through the... Uh, Anangu Pijinjada Yankanjada Land Rights Act and the Maralinga Jaracha Land Rights Act and also the negotiations and agreements and settlements and determinations made under the Native Title Act. The Native Title determinations at this current uh, time are probably close to cover 55% of uh, South Australia. This has provided various rights including living on and accessing country to practice culture, laws and customs. It has also provided procedural rights in relation to the developments which occur on these lands, termed the right to negotiate under the Native Title Act. Okay. Working uh, in the, with nuclear materials and that has uh, left a bit of a legacy. The atomic tests that were held between 1953 and, 60, and 1963 uh, were conducted a program of nuclear atomic weapons testing at Maralinga and Emu in the far west uh, of the state. This involved large-scale atomic tests uh, equivalent to the size of the Hiroshima bomb and smaller experiments. This program resulted in significant radioactive and hazardous material contamination impacting lands waters and people. The fallout or black mist was extensive with uh, radioactivity detected across much of the continent. At the conclusion of the trials, the British uh, in 1967 conducted a cleanup, a cleanup program and the, the failings of this operation and that of the testing uh, program more broadly were exposed in the Royal Commission into British nuclear tests held from 1984 to 1985 Following the Royal Commission, a further clean-up program was undertaken from 1996 to 2000. Oop. 
As uh, Maralinga Jaracha and Yalata Community Inc. said in their submission to the Nuclear Fuel Cycle Royal Commission, the testing is the location of the most long-lasting and irresponsible environmental disaster in Australia's history and that a nuclear cleanup can never render radioactive material safe. The loss, pain and suffering caused by Maralinga continues to influence Aboriginal people's views on the nuclear industry. An, inter an intergenerational legacy exists from the tests and their impacts. The loss of land, the ill health and loss of lives, the fight for recognition, handback and compensation, and the failed clean-up attempts. I apologise now, I've just got over a sort of flu, so I'm still a bit... Uh, Um, the uranium industry and mining and exploration. Uranium mining and exploration has also impacted on Aboriginal people and their lands and waters. This includes the former Radium Hill operations and current Olympic Dam and Beverly and Honeymoon Mines. The history of these operations and the support of associated Aboriginal groups is varied. Through the recognition of rights and the negotiation of agreements, particularly post-native title, relationships and outcomes have improved. However, the cultural and environmental loss is only ever partly offset by social economic gains. Whether it is in relation to mining or exploration, when uranium is targeted by companies, then community concerns rise due to associated risks, responsibilities and a general preference to leave it in the ground. Resultant uh, negotiations are often a reluctant and troubling concession with no right of veto. In terms of nuclear waste, um, Aboriginal people have protested against previous proposals to establish a nuclear waste facility in South Australia. The Kupapiti women, Kupapiti Kunka Jura, led from uh, 1998 to 2004 the successful Irati Wanti campaign against the proposed waste site. The state ran government then enacted legislation to prevent future development of a dump. For many Aboriginal people, uranium waste is poison, or irati, meaning because there is no Western Desert word, uh, Aboriginal word for uh, radioactivity in, in that sense. So the, the meaning is, they call it killing magic or deadly magic weapon and that type of thing. So it's something best left alone. The recent uh, uh, Royal Commission re-sparked a debate many Aboriginal people thought was behind them opening old wounds and again raising their concerns. So in the last year, some of the key concerns that the Aboriginal community have raised with SANS, the South Australian Native Title Services, uh, include having to always put the state's interest ahead of culture and country and lack of recognition by non-Aboriginal people of the impacts on Aboriginal culture um, Aboriginal views and concerns uh, should not be viewed as soft and emotional and science is hard and factual. Uh, the many local uh, regional impacts on country, culture and health. Not being able to guarantee safe storage given the time, i.e. intergenerational. Waste remains radioactive. Uh, radioactive. Uh, lack of trust in government and industry having appropriate, accurate and independent information, lack of science and certainty in technology, e.g. safe storage, reprocessing, and that no one has done this, concerns with uh, transporting waste and associated risks, uh, taking on other people's or countries' problems is not our responsibility, and process concerns around negotiations and benefits, you know, both local, regional and state. So, in seeking uh, social consent, the jury and wider consultative processes will need to give due consideration to the South Australian Aboriginal community, relationships and responsibilities to country, 
the long history with, with the nuclear industry and their associated views and concerns with establishing a waste facility. So, so in closing, I I'll just uh, repeat those main areas that I looked at, the key, the key points are, one, culture and country are inseparable and linked to well-being in mind, body and spirit. Secondly, the atomic tests were a violation of human and environmental rights and it has left a legacy. Third, Aboriginal people's rights have been recognised over the last 30 years, giving a voice in development. Four, Aboriginal uh, people's participation in nuclear industry is often a reluctant and troubling concession. Five, Aboriginal people successfully protested against a waste dump in 1998, 2004. And sixth, the recent Royal Commission has brought up old wounds and concerns, including culture, country, safety, future generations, health, knowledge and trust. So thank you very much.